Hello, welcome to my podcast, Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer. In this episode, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. His name is Tom, and the subject is, is a math degree worth the sacrifice? The message reads as follows. First of all, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to make YouTube videos. There is no other content creator on YouTube who talks about the process of learning math and why it's so critical. Your videos on having a good attitude and test taking tips have been extremely valuable to me. I can also tell that you genuinely love mathematics, which is why I wanted to ask, is a math degree worth the sacrifice? I am in my mid thirties now, and while I may have interest in the subject, I am not sure if I should spend the time and money on getting a degree in it. I got my first bachelor's degree in cell biology, and despite studying hard, graduating with a 3.6 GPA, tendonitis, and migraines from studying so much, I never found the job that enabled me to pay off my student loan debt. I still work in retail. I know that I need to do something, and I have the motivation to get through it, but I don't know if it's worth it to do so. I see a lot of similarity between mathematics and cell biology as they are both theoretical degrees that may make one more intelligent, but that society really doesn't value. I really want to get a second degree in math, but I don't want to be on EBT anymore and I don't want to tell my family I work in retail anymore. Your opinion and advice would always be appreciated. I am sorry for the light novel of a message but I don't have any mentors, professors I can really talk to about this stuff. Wow. So first, let me just say thank you. And you can definitely talk to me about this stuff. I'm really happy that you have sent me this email because I do think I have some decent advice that can help you. So first, the most important thing I can tell you is you need to ask yourself where you want to work because you are working right now you already have a degree in biology, you have a family and you're working in retail and you don't want to work in retail. That's clear from your message. You don't want to tell your family you work in retail anymore and you just, you want to do something else. So what can you do? Well, I think you need to get a better job. So you need to ask yourself where you want to work. And that is key. So realize that with a degree in anything, there are jobs out there that you can apply for. The thing is, you might not wanna do those jobs. And that's okay. It's, it's okay for you to go online and see a job that you're remotely qualified for and you know you could do it because you kinda of have the qualifications because it's like entry level, but you don't really wanna do that. That's okay because it's you. So don't let anyone you know, tell you, oh, hey, you know, there's plenty of jobs out there. You know, you could have a better job if you wanted to. You just don't want one. That's okay. It's okay not to want another job because you don't want to do it. What I'm trying to say is you need to find out what you actually want to do and then go for it. Okay. So ask yourself, what kind of job do you want to do? Do you want to be a computer programmer? Do you want to be a math teacher? Do you want to work in a bank? Do you want to work in finance? Do you want to go to med school? Do you want to be a lawyer? I mean, these are all things that I think are somewhat realistic goals. You might say a lawyer, med school, that's expensive. It is. Those are two examples of degrees that are just going to like really pile on <laughs> student loan debt. They're expensive, but there's options, right? There's ways to do it. And because you already have a degree, you have those options, you know, to go to law school or med school, uh, at least in the U.S., I'm going to assume you're in the U.S., you have to have a bachelor's degree uh, first, which you already have. So ask yourself what you want to do. Which leads me to mathematics because you're watching my videos on study tips, on having a good attitude. You're messaging me. I'm, I'm the math sorcerer. This is, you know, mathematics that we talk about here. So that means you love math. So that means maybe math is what you want to do. So you need to really make a hard decision and ask yourself, is that what you want to do? But I want to tell you that you have a lot of choices. You know, the world is yours. There's an old... Uh, rap song from the 90s by Nas. Probably never heard of him, but he used to be really popular. And um, he just kept saying, The world is yours because it really is. 
you have all kinds of choices. As far as math, because you obviously like math, let's talk about some of the choices that you have there. So if you go back and get a math degree, that's definitely going to cut into your time working. So my advice would be to take maybe one class if you really want to try math. Maybe take one or two classes at your local college and just see how it goes. Maybe you can get some type of tuition reimbursement through your job if that's available and take a class or two. Maybe just one to start to see how it goes. If you really want to go for it, you could make a huge leap and you could try to get a master's in mathematics. This is going to require that you already know some mathematics, but you could do that online while you work. Again, that's going to cost money. It is kind of expensive and going to be fairly significant if you are, you know, still working in retail, you know, based on your income working in retail, you know, paying for a master's degree part-time, that that's going to be hard on you, right? So you said you're on EBT. So that means that financially, you know, you need more money, right? So my advice would be, again, ask yourself what you want to do with your life, where do you want to work, and then go for it and have a couple different options. But realize also that you're in a pretty good place right now, right? You already have a degree. So there's probably jobs you can get. But again, it comes down to the question of, do you want to get them? Do you want to work there, right? Because everyone, you know, likes different things. Some people have jobs that other people would hate doing, right? Everyone does, um, you know, what they want to do or what they can do. So that's my advice. I really hope that uh, it works out for you. And remember, you have all kinds of opportunity. At least you already have a degree and, and you can go back and you can do more. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer. I hope that this has been helpful to anyone out there listening. Good luck.